I was not born this rich. I was not born this strong. I was not born this confident. I was not born this interesting. I was not born this charismatic and humble and gorgeous and tall and strong and sexy. I was not born none of these things. I became these things myself. What do you say to young men who come to you for advice? You feel lost. You don't really know where they fit into society. I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. You're only gonna be cared about based on how useful you are. You have the chance to build yourself up and become a superhero if you're prepared to do the hard work and be indefatigable enough to never quit. But if you're gonna stand around and wait for a handout, nobody's gonna ever respect you. And I think that a lot of people have forgotten about how difficult and how competitive it is as a man. We're always in constant competition with each other. And it's your duty as a man to stand up and say, I wanna be as important and strong and good-hearted and God-fearing as possible. And I need to work hard to achieve those things. Dame Sheila Hancock says we've become too over-emotional as a society, crying too much about everything. Has she got a point? She's completely right. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is that they're dangerous. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk about toxic masculinity and how bad it is for men to be traditionally masculine. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charges into the burning building because it is his duty. Not because he feels like it, because it is his duty. We're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel and they don't have to act as a man should. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. That is why we have the problems we have in the world. Absolutely not really wrong. So when they talk about toxic masculinity, they have it completely inverse on its head. Completely not really wrong. We need to be teaching stoicism. We need to be teaching young men to understand that the world is very, very difficult. It's hard to be a man. You're gonna feel bad sometimes. You just suck it up and perform anyway. Not just sit there and cry your eyes out and blame other people. Tough being a woman out. too in modern society. It's certainly tough being a woman, but I'm not a woman, so I want to speak on issues I do not understand. I'm a man. If I was a man and I was starting all over again, I would be do I would do the same things I did. I would wake up and say, okay, this game is extremely difficult. My best chance is to level up my character to a point where the game becomes easy. Because life does become easy at a certain point. Yes, now I'm in a very unique situation. But before this situation, I had only three problems in my life. My health, which I take care of, my woman, who I take care of, and money. I, that was it. If I made enough money, I had no other problems. If you're broke, you have lots of small problems. Yeah. The, the car doesn't start, the school fees are coming up, whatever, we need new clothes for the kids. I had one problem to fix. If I fix my one issue, everything else is fixed. You get to a point in life where someone goes, oh, we've got an issue, how much? Just tell me the number. I don't even want to know the ins and outs. Just do the transfer, make it go away. So. Yeah, as a man, I think you have that imperative to understand that the video game of life as a man is exceptionally difficult. And especially as you get older, as you progress with the levels, it gets harder. It's getting harder and harder. You need to level up your character. This is what amazes me when men go, I struggle with motivation. How can you struggle with motivation in the modern world? Are you asking to just lose? Are you asking to just be erased from humanity? Yep. Are you asking to be invisible? How can you be an 18 year old man and say, I don't have the motivation to train as hard as possible and get as rich as possible? You are born to lose if you don't have motivation at 18. In the modern world, as competitive as it is, all those girls, those 18 year old girls you go to school with are talking to some 28 year old man on, with a yacht somehow. And you're sitting there lonely and you don't have motivation? You must be out of your mind. The only way to win this game is to become as powerful as possible. It's difficult and it's getting harder and harder. And this is why I teach the things I teach to men. You can't just be Joe Schmo and win anymore. That, those days are over. You have to be something else. I believe there's only three reasons people are not rich. One of three reasons. They're either stupid, arrogant, or lazy. Stupid is actually the smallest category. Mm. People think, oh, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. There are, but I know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money, right? There's so much money in the world. To be too stupid, to generate money, I think is less than 5% of the population. We're really? genuinely too dumb to ever make a good wage. Then you have arrogant and lazy, and these are the two most common. Lazy because people just, oh, you know, but I need time to myself. Oh, you know, but it's the evening. Or, you know, it's hyper competitive. There are people who do not need time to themselves. There are people, there's an Indian in Islam, or there's a guy in Islamabad who'll do your job online for $3 an hour and he doesn't sleep. Mm. You're, you're gonna lose, right? So if you're gonna be lazy in any regard, you have to understand there are people like me who are billionaires who work 18 hours a day. When I finish this, I get into my car and I open my laptop and I work on my way to my next point. And I'm gonna work all night till the day I go. When I go to sleep, I close my laptop and I'm asleep a minute later. I work, that's all I do. So when so, you're on your yacht, do you class that as work? Because I think a lot of people think work has to be at, in an office, well, sitting for, down on a computer. Well, for me it is, because we yeah. have a film crew and we're filming and we're, it's all being yeah. documented and I'm doing my normal job at the same time. And then and this it, is work as well. Absolutely.
absolutely. So this is just my job. So lazy is a big problem because people go, oh, but I just want to relax. If you just want to relax, that's fine. But you're competing against people who just don't want to relax and you're going to lose. And the last, and I'd say that's around, a lot of people have that element to them. A lot of people are lazy. That's about 50% of people. But the main reason people are not rich is because they are arrogant. 50% of people are brutally arrogant. If you're not proud of yourself, you probably don't deserve to be proud of yourself. So you're not going to feel happy. And you just talked about confidence. Confidence comes from competence. The reason I'm confident is because I'm good at everything. Right. I'm good at everything I do. The things I'm not good at, I'm not confident in, of course. And I know what they are. I don't do them very often. I've now created my reality to the point where I don't do anything I'm not good at. You're higher, just higher. I, you're higher, I just don't want to do it. Like, yeah. I, I don't play darts. Yeah. I'm not good at darts, right? Yeah, I, I do what I, I'm do what i good at. So, yeah, I'm absolutely not really confident because I'm absolutely not really competent. And that takes practice and discipline and motivation. And you need to fail a few times. You need to get up. And like I said earlier, when I learned my entire mindset in professional fighting and chess, the two combined, that's how it comes down to. And when people say, oh, I, you know, I have competence issues, usually I can look them up and down and say, yeah, if I was you, I would completely and utterly struggle with confidence issues because you're, the world is competitive and there's men like me on the planet and friends like mine on the planet and you're competing against us for, for money, for girls, for status, for resource, yeah. and you're gonna be destroyed and decimated the entire time. So of course you have confidence issues when you can be annihilated in real time by the competitor. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you have confidence issues? You'd be psychopathic not to. Yeah, that makes sense. So maybe that, that un unconfidence is a good motivation for them to actually- Well, it's supposed to be. Yeah. This is the thing that I don't, I don't truly understand. If I'm unhappy with something and I'm uncomfortable with something, that's I fix it. Yeah. That's endless motivation, which I don't truly believe in as a concept, but that's endless fuel for the fire. Right. If I was unhappy with something about myself, regardless of what it was, I would be able to take all of that discomfort and turn it into endless energy to get the problem oh, fixed. Yeah, exactly. But these people seem to- It's okay to be unhappy. Yeah, well, these people seem to sit and say, I'm really, un I'm really unhappy with X but then stay doing X. So I don't believe yeah. they're truly actually unhappy. What you'll notice if you live life long enough is that somebody will sit and say to you, I'm unhappy being a loser. I was not born this rich. I was not born this strong. I was not born this confident. I was not born this interesting. I was not born this charismatic and humble and gorgeous and tall and strong and sexy. I was not born none of these things. I became these things myself. So I deserve all the spoils of war. And anybody who decides they don't want to work hard enough to become those things, then they deserve to sit and accept they're my inferior. Yeah. That's, that's their problem.